Spurs head coach Antonio Conte has stated that this team needs time and patience, but we have to be disappointed with the 3-2 defeat at Manchester United on Saturday, as we deserved much more. The Spurs under-23s lost 7-1 at Liverpool on Saturday afternoon, and another busy week coming up for Tottenham Hotspur, Brighton away on Wednesday and West Ham at home on Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start by talking about the three results in the Premier League from Saturday. Brighton 0, Liverpool 2, Brentford 2, Burnley 0 and Manchester United 3, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Now six games will take place in the Premier League today. Chelsea will play Newcastle, Everton will take on Wolves, Leeds will take on Norwich City, Southampton will play Watford, West Ham against Aston Villa and in the late kickoff, 4.30pm, Arsenal will take on Leicester. After Spurs lost 3-2 at Old Trafford against Manchester United on Saturday, we remain 7th in the Premier League. We have now played 27, which means we have 11 games left of this Premier League campaign. We have won 14, we have drawn 3, we have now lost 10, we have a goal difference of plus 7, we have 45 points. We are now 5 points away from the top 4. We do have 2 games in hand over Manchester United. Uh, we are... Three points away from fifth place Arsenal, but they have played two games less than us. And uh, we have the same points as West Ham in sixth place. They have played a game more than us. It's going to be another very busy week for Tottenham Hotspur. Two Premier League games, uh, one on Wednesday, the 16th of March, 7.30pm kickoff, as we'll be travelling away at Brighton. And then on Sunday, the 20th of March, back at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, as we will be hosting London rivals West Ham, 4.30pm kickoff. After Spurs lost 3-2 at Old Trafford against Manchester United with that Ronaldo hat-trick on Saturday afternoon, Antonio Conte was asked in his press conference, how do you fix this inconsistency with Spurs? His reply was, as for what is happening, I'm the first to tell you that if you want to be competitive, you want to improve your level, you have to try and work a lot. For this moment, the team needs to work a lot on many aspects. As for the same, we have to be stable, we have to be stable and keep good results in every moment. Instead, we are going down and up up and down. Don't forget that in the last five games, we scored three goals at Manchester City away, four goals away at Leeds, five goals against Everton, two here against United away. It means that the team is producing, is improving and creating chances and scoring a lot of goals. But at the same time, you have to try and improve in experience and try and manage the game because during the game, there are many parts of the game. There are moments where you feel you have to push and to push, you have to go strong to win duels. Conte then went on to say there are moments where you have to keep possession, you have to be more calm. I think in this aspect, you have to improve a lot. It depends on experience. Conte then went on to say we have many players, young players and many players that haven't been in this league for a long time. I know very well that I have to change this situation, working a lot, working a lot. This situation, it hasn't come from now, but it has come from a long period to see up and down, up and down for this team. We have to continue to work and give continuity to make more experience to manage the game because of the example. We have equalised, but after one minute, we conceded a second goal. We have made it 2-2, uh, but then we conceded a goal from a set piece. In the last period, we have been conceding a lot of goals from set pieces, but we are working hard on this. 
Conte then added, uh, you have to know that this is a process because this team is a team that needs time, uh, needs time to grow and improve. But I think you can see their improvement, a big improvement on the pitch. You can see what they're doing on the pitch. But in this process, you need time and patience and then try to do this. But I want to push my players because our ambition has always been to stay very close to the top four. I want to take this responsibility, but we're working a lot and I'm seeing a lot of improvement. We need a target to give us emotion, to give us that uh, possibility to push ourselves. We have to be disappointed because from this game, we deserved much more, not only to draw. Now, my thoughts on the game, Antonio Conte's comments and uh, our league position at the moment. Now, let's start with the league position. Now, we've got 11 games left in the Premier League. We've got Brighton, West Ham, Newcastle, Aston Villa, Brighton again, Brentford, Leicester, Liverpool, Burnley, Norwich on the final day of the season. And, of course, the Arsenal home game uh, to uh, to be confirmed, uh, you know, the date and the time. Um, you know, there are some very hard games in there. Um, you know, we've got to play teams in and around us and above us. Um, you know, from now until the end of the season, it's going to be very, very difficult. That Manchester United game was a game that we needed to win and we should have got something out of that game. Um, in my honest opinion, I thought that we played very well in uh, spells in that game. Um, but defensively, you know, I, I didn't think that there was too much of a problem going forward. We created a lot of chances. We probably should have scored a lot more than two goals. Um you know, every team that has gone to Old Trafford this season have created a lot of chances. And I thought that Tottenham would get a lot of chances as well and be a high scoring game. Um, but defensively, as Antonio Conte said in his comments there, you know, a minute or two later after equalising 1-1, um, ball comes over the top and it just looks so easy. Um, you know, Ronaldo getting his hat trick. Um, you know, without Ronaldo, Manchester United didn't really offer that much in the game. And also, Antonio Conte has come out and said that the team needs time and patience, but he will, deep down, be very, very disappointed by that result. Um, he's, he's even come out and said that, you know, he's disappointed with the result and we deserved a lot more. Um, we did deserve something out of that game and we should have got something out of that game. Um, I just thought that defensively, um, yesterday, we were quite poor um, in the real key areas of the game. Um, we do need to manage the game a lot better. Um, it was very, very disappointing. And when you're playing the teams um, in and around you in the Premier League table, and this is uh, now the business end of the season, you know, the last 11, 12 games uh, left of uh, the campaign, a very, very important time. We have got to get some consistency going and we have got to start winning matches and putting a string of results together if we want any chance of a decent European spot for next season. The Tottenham Hotspur women will be in action later on this afternoon as we'll be facing Manchester City uh, women at home at the Hive. Uh, the kickoff time is 12.30pm. Now going into this game, the Tottenham Hotspur women are currently fourth in the table. Uh, we've played 15, we've won eight, we've drawn four, we've lost three. We have a goal difference of plus eight, we have 28 points. Now, the Tottenham Hotspur under-23s were in action on Saturday, playing Liverpool away. Uh, under-23s endured a torrid time as we suffered a heavy defeat at Liverpool in Premier League 2 on Saturday lunchtime. The final result was Liverpool under-23s 7, Tottenham Hotspur under-23s 1. In a report on the club's website, it says struggling to get out of our own half for much of the first period. The host took full advantage to rack up five unanswered goals, including two penalties, to effectively end the game by half-time. We did have a bright spell at the start of the second half with Janiel Bennett pulling one back on 54 minutes. A controversial sixth goal was then scored for Liverpool with a quarter of the match still to go, but that ended any momentum that we were building. And then uh, substitute O'Rourke then added a seventh goal late on. And lastly, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs. Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, trips abroad and more. Just go to our website www.footballprizes.co.uk